Hello Year 8s, welcome to your business GCSE talk. This evening I will introduce you to the course and the department. Your teachers in this department are myself, Miss Sander, the curriculum leader, Miss Shelton and Miss Stockley. In our department we've got many many strengths. We are subject specialists with industry experience which means that the theories that you will be learning in class, we have seen it in action and we have actually been part of organisations that put all of that into practice. We've got many years of teaching experience between us at Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. We are passionate about our subject areas and we do believe in this value. We will offer you student leadership opportunities such as mentorship and competitions. And if allowed, we will run UK business trips. And in the future, you have opportunities to join in extracurricular activities such as the Young Enterprise Company programme when you get to year 12. GCSE Business will be a great foundation for that programme where you will be setting up your own business and running a company. Now, why study business? Firstly, business is a very versatile subject. You will be learning both numerical and non-numerical skills. This subject combines well with literally every other subject. It's basically because of the fact that all subjects leading to a particular career, you will benefit from learning how to manage resources and how to look after your finances. So this business subject will gain you those skills to take forward. The subject is highly valued by businesses as well as universities because they do realise that you learn a lot of enterprising skills such as problem solving, creative thinking and they are valued in every career path. It's based on real life. You will never wonder how or when you will use these theories that you're learning because it literally will be in your day-to-day -day lives that you will see examples of everything that we talk about in lessons. It enhances your transferable skills. I'll get to that in the next um, stage a little bit more detail. It immerses you in enterprising and financial management skills which can benefit you in your personal lives as well as your business lives. And it also gives you a, an awareness of the world around you. You start noticing things, you start realising uh, how, for example, a marketing campaign can be used to entice people into purchasing that product. So you become even more savvy customers. You will gain lots of skills and qualities during the course of your business GCSE. You might already possess some of these skills, such as literacy skills, writing skills, perhaps some analytical skills, but we will enhance these during your three years with us. We'll work on your literacy skills for especially exam writing skills, numeracy skills such as ratios, calculating averages, percentages, and looking at graphical representations of data to enable you to make some decisions for a business scenario. And you will gain other transferable skills. If you remember, I mentioned this earlier that the businesses and institutions such as universities really value. Those are the skills that are critical thinking, good communication, problem solving, adaptability, analytical and evaluative thinking skills. You will also hopefully already possess or develop further an interest in current affairs. You'll be aware of the latest business and economic news and have an all round understanding of how things work. In terms of the content that you will cover over the three years, well, in year nine, we will introduce you to business. We will go through some basic concepts that will enable you to understand the theories that you'll be learning in two different themes that we will um, go through. Theme one is based on small businesses 
and theme two is based on growing businesses. So in year nine, you will have the introduction to business, enterprise and entrepreneurship, spotting a business opportunity and putting a business idea into practice. We'll look at how to spot gaps in the market. We'll look at marketing campaigns. We will look at how a business can um, develop ideas and products. In the year 10 content, you will get through making effective business decisions, mostly to do with financial understanding. You will also think about the external influences on businesses such as the economy, so interest rates, inflation and unemployment. We will do a lot of revision and exam practice when you finish theme one. Moving on to the next theme, which is about growing the business. In year 11, we'll continue with theme two and you will learn about how to make marketing, operational, financial and human resource decisions for a growing business. We'll, we're going to look at lots of examples from international uh, companies, well-known brands, and think about how they became successful or how they failed. We'll do more revision and exam practice before you sit um, some exams in year 11. Now the assessment is just like the themes. You have theme one assessment paper one and theme two assessment paper two. Both papers are 90 minutes long with 90 marks allocated to them. Each paper will make up 50% of your overall GCSE. There'll be a mixture of questions in each paper. There'll be some generic questions in the first section. There'll be a case study in section B and there will be another case study in section C and related questions ranging from multiple choice, short answer to extended writing questions. Now don't let the word exam scare you off at all because we've got a very strong support system in place in our department. Now you've got the in-class support obviously from your teachers, we've got also after school um, classes. We have a dedicated YouTube channel for our subject. We have comprehensive workbooks, which you will use in lessons and at home. You will be able to purchase revision guide and workbooks. We'll provide you with past paper booklets with lots and lots of past paper questions to practice from. We'll also provide you with model answers, walking, talking mocks as the experts we will provide you information about how to answer each and every single type of question and train you on those. And if possible, you will also have business school trip where you can see all those things that you're learning in class in actual business context in real life. So you can even ask questions to a business and see how they apply all the theory in actually working business situations. In terms of future prospects, just like the versatile nature of the subject, you can actually get into many, many different fields, whether at university or careers. Of course, there's the, the usual business management, administration and things like accountancy and finance. You might end up in a career in banking or brand management or events organization. You might be working for a big retail company or a small one, or you might even set up your own business. The opportunities are literally endless with this subject. And more and more organizations such as um, science labs or um, businesses that are based on things like engineering, they need people who can manage a business, who understand the workings of the business, who understand the nature of scarce resources and be able to provide best solutions to problems and you might be the person that they will pick just because you have this knowledge and experience of working with business concepts. Business is such an exciting subject. You don't just learn about how to start a business or just finances. 
You learn about so much more than that. You learn about managing people in a business. You learn about how to manage your marketing activities, make sure your product is appealing to your customers and you can sell to your target audience effectively. You learn about how to um, be innovative and adapt to the changing environment around you. You learn so much more than just starting a business. And it's, as you can see on your screen, we have seen over the years many, many inspirational female entrepreneurs, but we definitely need more females to enter the world of business as leaders, as future leaders, as people who can inspire and um, lead a company just like these female entrepreneurs have done. And in terms of the type of businesses you can get into, it's up to you. It's again, limitless in terms of what you can do with your business skills. I hope I was able to inspire you to study this subject. I passionately believe in its value. And I would like you to stop us if you see us walking around school, if you've got any more questions or email us to find out more about the subject. And I hope to see you all in September in a business class. Thank you for listening.